Al-Nas, Humankind, is the final chapter in the Quran. Similar to the previous chapter, Al-Falaq, it was revealed as a prayer to seek Allah's protection from evil. In this case, the evil whispers that can corrupt our hearts and try to keep us away from the straight path. The chapter emphasizes that Allah is the Lord and Master of everything, including all jinn and humans. And He is the only one we seek refuge in. The chapter starts with Kul a'udhu bi rabbin nas, malikin nas, ilahin nas. Say, O Prophet, I seek refuge in the Lord of humankind, the Master of humankind, the God of humankind. It mentions three different characteristics of Allah. Him being our Rabb, our Malik, and our Ilah. Rabb refers to the one who created us, provides for us, and takes care of us. Malik refers to the one who rules over us. He is our master, whose laws we should obey and follow. Ilah refers to the one we worship, the one we thank for all our blessings, the one we turn to when we're in need, and the one we submit and humble ourselves to. He, with all his qualities and attributes, is the one who can protect us from the evil of the lurking whisperer, the one who whispers into our hearts, either from the evil jinn, who we cannot see, who come to us frequently, or from evil human beings around us, who we can hear and see, and who they themselves have been corrupted from the whispers of their own jinn. Both are dangerous as they both try to distract us away from Allah and from submitting ourselves to His will. May Allah protect us all and may He guide us to the straight path.